Nikki and Leo are two little children, who live in the Little Italy neighborhood in Toronto. They both grew up there hanging around and playing soccer. Nikki usually wins every game, but Leo claims that he lets her win. Nikki and Leo's families run an Italian pizza restaurant together. The families make a wonderful team. Vince, Leo's father, is in charge of the pizza crust, whereas Sal, Nikki's father, and his family prepare the special sauce. In the neighborhood, there's soon going to be a contest for the best pizza. Vince is worried, but Sal believes they are unbeatable. Although both families are inseparable, something happens in the contest. Although they win the trophy, the fathers quarrel and decide to part ways. Five years have passed by, and Nikki is now in London studying culinary at Corian's Institute. A very exigent chef, Corian is strict and harasses students who can't meet her standards. However, Nikki is one of the best cooks there, so the chef takes her and one other student to a separate room. There, Corian explains she is setting up a new restaurant and needs a fresh menu. Corinne claims that they have to think of the menu, and she will hire the best one. Before leaving, Corinne mentions that Nikki must have her student visa changed to a work visa. As a result, she has to come back to Canada to do the paperwork. In Little Italy, most things remain the same, except for the family's relationship. Both fathers, Sal and Vince, had a feud, so they separated and set up individual restaurants. What is even worse, they hate each other. Leo still works with his parents, but he has moved out of their house. In the restaurant things aren't going well, Leo suggests changing the menu a bit. But Vince is reluctant to do it, and wants to keep the traditional menu. At Sal's restaurant, they realize that they are not going through a good time either, because their place is empty. Suddenly, the phone rings. It is Nikki telling them she is coming over from London. Everyone gets super excited when they hear about her arrival. At the airport, Nikki is welcomed by Gina, her friend. They are cheerful and hug each other. Nikki mentions that she told her family she is arriving the next day, so she can spend time with her friends. That night the girls go to Luigi's, and Leo is there working. When Nikki sees him, she cannot hide her enthusiasm. Leo and she look at each other warmly. Leo heads to the counter and flirts a bit with Nikki. While drinking shots, Nikki insinuates that Leo is not good at soccer. So Leo challenges her to a game. Nikki accepts, and even though it's raining heavily, they go outside and play a penalty drinking game. If Leo scores, Nikki has to drink. But if Nikki saves the ball, Leo has to do it. After a few minutes, both are under the effects of alcohol and Nikki passes out. The next morning, Nikki wakes up at Leo's place, and she thinks they spent the night together. But nothing happened between the two. Leo let her sleep in his bed, while he slept on the couch. Despite being separated for many years, they still love spending time together. Vince's restaurant has plenty of people, and that makes the family happy. While Amelia, Leo's mother, is working as a waitress, Nikki's mother, Dora, calls her to have a secret chat. Although their husbands are at war, they don't hate each other. When Nikki shows up at her family's restaurant, everyone is happy to see her. But Dora's first reaction is telling Nikki she is going to find a man for her. Meanwhile, at Vince's restaurant, the clients and staff are eager and excited. We soon realize that is because Sal has replaced the oregano in the pizza with a suspicious substance. Everything ends with the press arriving, and the police arresting Vince and Jogi, one of the employees. Later Franca, Nikki's grandmother, goes to church to confess her sins. Once in the confessional, she meets Carlo, Leo's grandpa, and at that moment it is revealed that they are seeing each other. In the afternoon, Nikki goes to Leo's to play soccer with him and apologize for her father's behavior, but she bumps into a fancy girl at Leo's door. This girl rings the doorbell, and they have an uncomfortable chat. When Leo opens the door, he is surprised to see Nikki. He introduces her as his best friend forever, but Nikki doesn't seem to like that. Then she apologizes, but Leo mentions that his dad had Sal investigated for tax evasion, so they are now even. Leo finally says that they do not have to apologize for what their fathers do, and Nikki agrees. As Leo has company, Nikki decides to leave, but Leo invites her to have dinner the next night, and Nikki accepts the invitation. Nikki's mother is still trying to find a man for Nikki, but she is not satisfied with that. Nikki tells Gina that she is joining Leo for dinner. Gina makes Nikki realize she is still in love with Leo, and even though she doesn't admit it, deep inside Nikki knows she feels something for him. At night with Leo, they have dinner and drink some wine. Nikki congratulates Leo on such a delicious pizza, and suggests adding figs to it. Leo is surprised by Nikki's skill, and also by the wonderful flavor of the pizza. They enjoy cooking together. Then they go to the terrace. Leo shows Nikki his organic garden, and mentions he hopes something like that could be his legacy. Leo would like to run his own restaurant, but he must wait until his father retires. Otherwise, he will be competing with his father. From the street, they can listen to the tarantella, so they dance. Leo reminds her that the last time they danced, Nikki kissed him but she states it was the other way round, and he kissed her. They laugh and joke about that while dancing. Leo claims that he has been lonely since she went to London, and admits he checks her Facebook page once in a while. Leo slowly approaches Nikki's lips, but when they are about to kiss, Nikki says she should go. 
Leo asks why, to which Nikki replies that if not, she'll stay. Meanwhile, Franca is praying in the church, when Carlo shows up in a suit, and unexpectedly proposes marriage to her with an amazing wedding ring. Franca is perplexed. She smiles, but leaves without saying a word. Carlo remains in the church, confused and speechless. The following day at Vince's, Carlo and Leo are preparing pizza with figs. Then Carlo asks Leo how his date was. Leo says it was very nice, but things are complicated with Nikki, because she doesn't want to stay in Little Italy. Therefore, Carlo encourages him to have fun with her, and show her what she is missing in the neighborhood. Leo leaves, and at that moment his family tries his pizza, and everyone is delighted with its taste. Carlo goes to the coffee shop where Franca is. Once there, Carlo asks why she fled when he tried to put the ring on her finger. Franca explains that it's too hard for her, because she is a widow, and when her husband passed away, she swore not to marry another man. Carlo understands Franca's feelings, and he tells her that he doesn't want to hide anymore. He wants to make Franca his lady, and have a home together. Carlo says he loves her, and Franca is surprised because she thought she would never listen to those words again. Then, Franca confesses that she loves him too and agrees to get married. At night, Nikki is at home, preparing the menu when Leo climbs to her window, and gives her a pizza box. Leo tells her to get ready early the next day. Nikki laughs, and then she opens the box and finds a heart-shaped delicious pizza. As promised, Leo picks her up, and they go to spend the day in Little Italy. They hang around, visit the market, and have an enjoyable motorcycle ride. They end up soaking wet, so they go to Leo's apartment to dry and change clothes. But Nikki approaches Leo and seduces him. Leo hugs and slowly kisses her, and they spend the night together. The next morning, Nikki's phone wakes her up. It's Corinne who starts a video call. Nikki gets dressed quickly and goes to the terrace to answer. Corinne shows her the new restaurant and asks about the menu Nikki is supposed to design. The chef also adds that Gareth, the person who is competing with Nikki, has already sent his menu. Finally, Corinne says that the way to the top is a solo trip, and that Nikki has time until Sunday to finish the menu. Leo shows up on the terrace, and Nikki thanks him for showing the beauties of the neighborhood, but she can't be with him. Nikki claims that she has been working too hard, and cannot afford to just end up in that town, working in a pizza restaurant, watching their parents fight. She adds that she is just another girl in Leo's life, and she can't stand seeing him getting old with someone else. Although she has enjoyed their tryst, she has to go. Leo remains speechless and confused as Nikki leaves. At Vince's, Leo is working crestfallen, and his parents are there too. Carlo walks in and says they are closing early that day, because he wants to invite the family to have dinner. Everyone is confused, but as he is paying they accept. At Sal's, Nikki talks to her mother about Franca's tomato sauce. She says that is wonderful, but she can't figure out what is in it. Dora says that would be tough to know because Franca never revealed the recipe, even to Sal. At that moment, Dora leaves the kitchen and Franca appears. She secretly tells Nikki the key ingredient of the sauce. Nikki is joyful, but she can't tell anyone. Then, Franca invites everyone to have dinner, in the same place that Carlo is taking his family. At the restaurant, both families aren't willing to sit together, but Franca and Carlo insist. Once at the table, the old couple confesses they have been seeing each other. While Vince and Sal are disgusted by the situation, Nikki and Leo think that is wonderful. They can even end with that silly family war. However, the fathers continue arguing, and they decide that they will compete in Little Italy contest for the best pizza. But there's a problem, Sal and Vince are banned from the competition. The fathers suggest that Nikki and Leo will represent the families, even though they don't want to compete, their families push them to do it. Nikki refuses to take part, but Vince claims that she is afraid to lose against Leo. This makes her react, Leo and Nikki start arguing, and Leo makes a reference of them sleeping together the previous night. Nikki instantly slaps him hard in the face, and leaves enraged. Leo tries to stop her, but Nikki is fed up because nothing and nobody changes in Little Italy. Their father's stupid war will never change, and Leo won't change either. At Luigi's pub, Leo and he talk about Nikki. Luigi encourages Leo to take the risk for her, but Leo says it's too complicated, because she wants to go back to London. Luigi then tells Leo he is not being honest with himself. He is in love with Nikki and has to stop making excuses. Meanwhile, Franca meets Nikki in the church. Franca asks about London, and Nikki answers that a new job and life are waiting for her. But when Franca asks if that new life makes her happy, Nikki whimpers. Then they talk about Leo, Nikki states that she wants to be happy, she wants her family to be happy too, and that she does want Leo. At Little Italy's best pizza competition, the whole neighborhood is gathered. Nikki and the rest of the participants start cooking. When the time is out, the cooks deliver their pizzas. The only two who go to the next stage of the competition are Leo and Nikki, so they have to face each other in the final stage. They wish each other luck, and start cooking. 
When pizzas are prepared, the judges taste them and come to a decision. They claim that it is a difficult decision, but Leo's pizza is the winner. He is given a trophy. One of the judges mentions that pizza reminds him of when both families work together. This comment calls Leo's attention, so he tries one slice of the pizza. When eating it, Leo instantly smiles and realizes something. In the meantime, Nikki takes her suitcase, that is next to the stage, gets in a taxi, and leaves straight to the airport. At that exact moment, Leo claims that he can't accept the trophy, because that is not his pizza. The crust is his but the sauce has been changed by Nikki's. Leo calls Nikki to the stage, but she is already gone. So he gets on his motorcycle and rushes to the airport. The rest of the two families do so in Gina's van. Now at the airport, Leo desperately looks for Nikki. When he finally finds Nikki, he asks her not to go. Leo says the only thing he wants is her, but at that instant, the families appear. Nikki claims that there's no point in staying, because nothing's going to change. Their families are not going to change. Leo claims that doesn't matter, because he has changed. He is not afraid to say he wants to set up his own business, and he is not afraid to say that is in love with her. He has always been and will always be. Nikki cries and remains speechless for a while. Then she gets her luggage, heads to Leo, and passionately kisses him. Nikki says she has loved him all her life. Leo and Nikki have one more thing to clarify. They want to know why their fathers started the fight. They mention that when they won the competition, Sal wanted to name the pizza Pizza Franca after her mother, while Vince liked Pizza Carlo in his father's honor. As they didn't reach an agreement, they fought. Franca and Carlo claim that they don't want their names on a pizza, and then they tell the families about their engagement. Now Leo and Nikki are running their own business called Pizza Organica in the heart of Little Italy. They are so good that Chef Corinne visits the place and congratulates Nikki because their food is perfect. The chef also mentions that due to tough critics, she was forced to close her restaurant. At that moment, Corinne asks Nikki if she would like to become an international brand. While everyone is dancing and enjoying, Franca tells Carlo that she is pregnant, and Carlo loudly announces they're having a baby.